This is June from Planet June and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this basic cord. It makes a strong flattened braid and you can use it to make things like jewellery, belts and bag straps. Here's a bracelet that I made using this cord and a variegated yarn and you can see how beautiful the cord looks. But the best part is that it only uses single crochet stitches so it's very easy to crochet. To begin, make a slip knot on your hook and chain two. One, two. Now we're going to make a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Insert your hook into the back loop of the chain and single crochet. If you look at the stitch you've just completed, you'll see that the V formed by the front and back loops point like an arrowhead towards this horizontal bar at the back of the stitch and that's the loop we're going to be working into so what you need to do is rotate your work until that loop is accessible to your hook and then insert your hook going from top to bottom through that loop now complete a single crochet yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and draw through both loops on the hook now if you look at this stitch you've just completed, the V at the top of the stitch now points to two horizontal bars. And in future we're always going to go under both those bars. So turn your work so that you can access those bars. Then insert your hook under both bars and complete a single crochet. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and draw through both loops on the hook. Every stitch from now on will follow the same pattern. Look at the stitch you've just made, find the two horizontal bars at the back of the stitch and turn your work so that you can insert your hook down from top to bottom through both of those bars. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and draw through both loops. Turn your work to access the horizontal bars Insert your hook from top to bottom and complete a single crochet. Turn your work to access the bars. Insert your hook under both bars and complete a single crochet. Now you will notice that as these aren't the usual loops that we crochet into, they're a bit tight to get your hook into. I find it helpful to pull the loops onto my hook with the tip of my index finger. But depending on how you crochet, you may find it easier to push the loops onto your hook with your thumb. Now you may forget which direction you should be turning, but if you just look at those loops at the back of the stitch you've just made, you'll never go wrong. If you turn it the right way, the loops will go towards you. If you turn the wrong way, the loops will be hidden from you. So always turn your work so that you can access those two horizontal bars. And then continue to single crochet. As you get the hang of it, you can pick up speed and you'll see this beautiful cord forming. Continue crocheting until the cord's as long as you want and then just fasten off as normal by cutting the yarn and draw the tail through the final loop on the hook. And there you have a beautiful crocheted cord.